Catherine Zeta-Jones blew us away. She was the first voice cast for this picture, and we really worked on the whole character, language, dialogue, and design of Marina, given how fortunate we were to get Catherine as the casting. She brings a maturity to the voice, a playfulness to the voice, a sexiness to the voice. Marina is somebody who can trade one-liners with him and also keep up with him on the very, very physical adventures these two go on. Wait! Ah! Ah! And during the session, um, I got inspired by uh, the way she acted. We tried to capture a little bit of her face as well, and especially the eyes. Don't you dare for a second think you can talk me out of it. And don't tell me the realm of chaos is no place for a woman. I never realized that the voice came first and the animation came second. I thought you would, like, dub to what they, you know, they animated, and all the different nuances that you create just by your voice speaking. Uh-oh. It's amazing how the animators, you know, put them all into to the animation. I'm here to make sure you get the Book of Peace. Oh, or bring back your dead body if you fail. All the crew, they seem to fall for a bit. It's Marina! We thought you were gone forever. <laughs> Simbad has a little bit of a problem with that. Um, knife, please. Oh, yeah. Like, I'd give you a weapon? Sinbad's got a bit of an ego. You egotistical. You spoiled. Disrespectful. Deluded. Pretentious. At least I'm not repressed. <gasps> repressed? I'll show you repressed. <laughs> Sometimes that ego gets in the way. <laughs> The retelling of the Sinbad legend wouldn't be complete without seductive, mythological sirens. Come and get it, ladies! Sirens are the mythological women who sing songs to entrance the sailors so that they may crash on the rocks and drown with the girls. I saw her first! The sirens in our film, we really wanted to make them feel unearthly and based purely from water. So we did a lot of development to take animated female figures, but then turn them into like a living fountain, so that when they rise out of the water, they splash like a wave, float in the air, and then disappear into a million drops of vapor when they try to sweep the men off the deck of the ship. We studied rhythm gymnastics, ballet, modern dance, um, some underwater photography to kind of see the flow of cloth underwater. So we can make them more predator-like or sometimes reptilian-like and very quick moving under the water. And then when they come out, we wanted it to be kind of like suspended, very ethereal, seductive, just to try to mesmerize the sailors. What? I love you. <laughs> Siren sequence, which was done by most everybody in the department at some point, uh, turned out to be an exceptional sequence. It was an exciting technical challenge that I think breaks boundaries technically and in visual design. We've got things in this film like the sirens that I don't think anybody's ever seen before.